I must warn you, the video you're about to watch is going to be controversial. It's going to go against everything you're led to believe, and you're probably going to reject everything I have to say. Though I still think you should watch it. Hi, my name is Jonathan. By now, you've probably already gathered by the title of this video that we're going to be discussing terror attacks. Now up front, I'm opposed to attacks of any kind, whether it's by groups of small or large. I think it's a disgusting and weak act, and like you, we pray it never happens around us or to anyone like us. But the fact of the matter is it does happen, and it will happen, whether due to issues around religious, status, or mental. They are bound to occur in the future, just like they did in the past, and that is something we cannot change. But what if there was a way to foresee hotspots of when these attacks were likely to occur? How could you, organizations or nations, prepare with this information? Well, that is where my study and opinions may be of some value. Now, when I mention study, of course, this is not academic by any means. And these time series opinions were work I performed a few years ago through my study of cycles and the writings of W.D. Gann. If you've been following me for any time, you know how often I say that what we do in the stock market can be overlaid into any part of our life. And that's what got me interested in terror attacks, well, the timing aspect of, and the research of these anyway. So with that out of the way, if you continue to watch, I encourage you to do so with an open mind of what's possible. Coming to this video with ideologies of what's possible or not will only stunt your growth. And as I'm publishing this video in an open platform, I'm also exposing myself to a range of different people and opinions which I have now come to accept. So I want to take you back to 2017. Now due to the age and how I published this back then, it's rather blurry and pixelated right now but you should be able to see it on your screen. W. D. Gann always said you need the right starting point to accurately forecast the future. Now, by no means am I suggesting I have even one-tenth of a percent of knowledge that W. D. Gann had. But for this study, which was specific to the West and using Britain as our whipping boy, I started to plot out all the terrorist attacks that had occurred over there. Now, I must admit there wasn't a huge amount, and of course that's good, so it was a small sample size. But what I was more interested in was if there was any clear cycles playing out. And if I could use these cycles or cycles within cycles to pinpoint an area in the future where the West should be on alert for potential attacks. Of course, I could continue this forecast and find more dates of interest out into the future. But to get an idea of on when terrorist-like behavior from various groups was likely to become a hotspot again, I stuck with one that I thought was going to be an important one. Now let me explain why I have settled on this time frame, which I know is hard to see, but it was around November 2020 and out to around the third quarter of 2021. Of course, we should also take into account an old period, which I won't go into detail right here, but it's simply a period of time before and after a forecasted date. So now we have this period pinpointed from 2017 to now, all we had to do was wait. Now, a moment ago, I said that this period was important to me. Now, why did I say that? Well, at the time, I'd been studying market cycles and periods of recessions and depressions. It was at the time, my opinion, that during 2020 to 2021, the world would be in yet another recession. Well, what that looked like was unknown. But as W.D. Gann would say, every movement in the market is the result of a natural law and of a cause which exists long before the effect takes place and can be determined years in advance. The future is but a repetition of the past, as the Bible plainly states. So for me, the cause was irrelevant, as the effect had already been predictable, at least to a certain degree. Though I must admit right now that it's come apparent that COVID may have actually saved the UK from another high-profile terrorist attack. Now, I'm not saying that we need to write off the idea that one might happen, but with this in mind, we're still in a hotspot period and it can last for several more months. And in January 2021, I published a special update to a private group of members to be on alert for this hotspot area. You should be able to see this on your screen right now. Of course, the message was cryptic in nature and it served its purpose, but the point being is that it was clearly visible. By April 2021, as your chief went public to concur with what I had been thinking and said that within the next 12 months, we should be expecting some form of attack. And then lately we've been flooded with news and headlines from left and right wing terrorist attacks and organizations from neo-Nazis, etc. And we also heard from Isaac El Matari who planned to attack the heart of Sydney. 
Around other parts of the world, we've had issues in Afghanistan with the attack from ISIS-K, and more recently in New Zealand, the unfortunate attack by ISIS extremists during a recent stabbing event. So what's the purpose of this video? Well, simply put, we're moving through a period of time where terrorist-like activity is moving into an extreme. Now, I want you to think of it like a pendulum that swings from left to right. At each extreme side of the swing, or cycle, we enter into a period of hotspot activity, and then we move into equilibrium. And it's through both the study of time and cycles and through the pendulum that we can, to some degree, without the use of spying or sophisticated systems, forecast when extremes will be reached. And it's at this point when nations and we as a community should move into a period of alertness, at least to protect ourselves. Let me give you one more example of this theory and how I used it to accurately forecast a possible event in Melbourne, Australia. On January 2021, 2017, at 1.30 p.m., a car drove through Burke Street. It was a tragic and horrific event, and six lives were lost. Then on December 21, 2017, at 4.41 p.m., another car incident occurred, this time on Flinders Street and Elizabeth Street. One person was unfortunately killed. As horrific as the events are, and I feel for everyone who was there, Clues were left behind that we could use as the pendulum swung from left to right. Between these two events were 335 days. Now, while this seems irrelevant, 335 days is considered a complete cycle from event to event or from extreme to extreme on the pendulum. To find the next hotspot or the next extreme, all we need to do is add 335 days to the last attack. This 335 days was added to December 21, 2017, which was the last attack. And by doing that, we were given 21st of November, 2018. Now, if you look up any major incident for that date, you'll notice that nothing occurred. And you might be quick to write off this theory. But this is where the research from Ray Merriman comes into effect, and that's the orb period. I spoke on this before. Now, the all period is a period of time before and after an event that we should be on alert for. Now, for this scene that we're talking about, this all period gave us around 55.8 days, or 28 days before and after the forecasted date of November 21, 2018. So we were watching between 24th of October and the 19th of December 2018 for an event to occur in Melbourne. As the clock ticked, it was 9th of November 2018 when the event took place. Burke Street was faced with knives. One man died and two others were injured. Again, tragic, and I'm not trying to downplay these events at all, but I've seen it far too often now to call it a fluke. These cycles just continue to play out. Now consider the events, albeit small in scale, that usually took place around June of each year, at least in Australia anyway. For example, June 30 in 2016, there was an attack in Western Australia. June 7, 2017, we saw the Brighton siege. June 13, 2018, or two cycles later, a 22-year-old comedian was killed in Carlton. The pendulum swing from left to right until equilibrium was eventually met, and the cycle was no longer active. Of course, you could pass these events off as, uh, you know, random by nature, though periods of time where these events were likely to occur happen far too often and far too frequently to pass them off as random, than other times when they didn't occur, of course. So with that said, and something for you to keep in mind, I think it's now a perfect time to wrap this video up. If you want to advance your study on any major event, whether it's political, social, nationwide, all you need to do is find a time period between two events. And then once you've got that time period, I want you to extend that period into the future, whether by multiples of, divisions of, or one complete cycle. And if you had the right starting point, there's a very high chance that this cycle will repeat and you'll see the effect take place either with a similar cause or a different one. Now, I'll leave that up to you to discover. If you enjoyed this video and found it insightful, leave a comment or drop a like. Also, don't take this video too personally. You may not agree and that's totally okay. I don't see the world in the same way you do and you don't see this, the world in the same way I do. I'll talk to you soon.